performance in, and it will be Avec that comes off the worst of the two as he's on the wrong end of Faz's shotgun, and that's going to be that. Faz takes the lead. Our two maps are this T4 and uh, and ZTN next. Uh, so, really, this is a this is a big question mark uh, for, for me, and I think for a lot of viewers, where is Faz at right now? You know, I think it's a big question mark for both players. I was talking to Bass. Uh, uh, which is Epic's manager a few minutes ago, and he's really, really nervous and worried, and he said he's never felt like this for around two years of tournaments until QuakeCon. And you have Faz, on the other hand, who really hasn't played a major Quake 3 event uh, for probably a year, a year and a half. He was always a legendary Swedish player, but he hasn't been active that much either. So Yo. it will be interesting to see which of these two players who haven't played much Quake Live can come out on top. I lost costed Faz at the gathering uh, where he played Quake 3 against Fox. He got to the grand final of that. Uh, of course, th that was expected, the pair of them, but uh, Fox did, uh, did, did slaughter him. Um, and uh, ah. Fa Faz actually did well in the FIFA tournament. He came second in the FIFA tournament. That, that was, that was Quake what? FIFA players coming out of nowhere. Yeah. There's no, uh, no sign of stalemate, though. Anyway, we're two to one up here in favor of Avex suddenly as uh, the reverse rail comes around as Faz is uh, dropping back, dropping rockets in the uh, general direction of Avex at the moment, but. Avec, who we are uh, following currently, has uh, just about got himself in a bit of trouble here. Tries to land that falling back rail. I think he got it. Oh, he's going to get that get one. It. That's for sure. Lovely work from the pole. He's up by two frags. It's 3-1. So that was a great defensive arrow from Avec. I thought Faz was going to be able to knock him off the perch and gain control of that lower YA. Uh, but he was able to get away and take control uh, of that YA. So that was some really nice work there by Avec to keep control uh, of the items on the map, even though Faz has stolen away Mega now and kills Avec right before the YA spawns. So this could be time for Faz to regain control of this map. Here we go, rocket drop down from Avec as uh, Faz is poised delicately. Rockets uh, still pinging to and fro as the uh, rails are pinged in. Now it will be Faz to just... just, take his... oh, oh, no, he's not. He's going to get... A headshot rocket, if you will. And that is going to mess up that lovely Swedish hair of his as uh, now the plasma is coming his way. We have uh, rockets being pinged back in the direction of Faz. Uh, Avec is, uh, sorry, Faz is playing very aggressively. He's right in the face of, uh, of Avec all the time, but without any real potency. Wow. I say that, and he lands a great rocket. So uh, I take it all back 5-3. This game is very much in the balance. Yeah, so Faz with some nice play there, and now he does have really good control uh, of both YA times right now. Avec does have uh, the positional advantage on the on the higher YA, which has not spawned yet. So Faz will try to challenge his upper YA. Does hit a nice rail. He's gonna push Avec away. Gonna take him down. Gonna get control of this lower YA. Upper YA will go to Avec. Uh, this next mega will be important. Does spawn in 40 seconds. Uh, Faz still with positional control uh, of this map so far. 5 4 the score. One frag separates the pair as Faz is very much on the uh, trail. As he goes looking for the, uh, the pole. It's really interesting to hear your, uh, your comments about Bass, the uh, serious gaming manager, because he is Mr. Confidence. He is the, uh, you know, Iraqi information minister type of guy. Ooh. Right, the rocket and rail combo there landed from Faz onto Avec, and that is. Uh, Finding Avec now at 5-5, five, five. he's been pushing away from that rail, but he's starting Taking to do damage with that damage. machine gun. Now though, the shotgun ends that little charade from the pole. And, uh, but Avec probably uh, thinks that Faz is lower than he is. Mega comes up and is claimed, and uh, now the rocket will be taken away. So, 6-5 Faz, and this one is uh, still anyone's game. Yes, he does pick up that YA and gets a rail at the same time. I think Bass uh, was making those comments because Cypher and Evek haven't gotten that much training in Quake Live. They have both been playing Quake 3 for USWC for the past year. Uh, they both played the uh, Quake 3 uh, extre uh, the ESL, um, the lower event, I forget what it's called. Uh, it's EPS. The, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, so they've been playing Over Quake in Germany. Over in Germany. So they've been playing Quake 3 a lot. They haven't gotten a lot of practice on Quake Live. They haven't played the new maps in Quake Live. So Bass has been worried about both of them and in this tournament, but they have both been playing very, very nicely and defeating some good opponents. So uh, they have been ready. Well, this very much the uh, entree to what will be a new Quake Live season, courtesy of uh, 
of the people over in Germany over and the, in Germany. the ESL and the uh, IEM season that's taken place. Obviously, some uh, with uh, with Carmack now uh, heading that up, but basically, uh, Quick Live was uh, likely to get involved. As uh, we were now at 8 5 in favor of Faz. He's Oh, Alec waiting from the other side of the teleporter. Rockets drop down at. Ooh, interesting work here from him, but Ooh. the great rail drop down from upper to lower will dispatch of Faz, and that'll give Avec a way right back into this one. As Faz now is uh, darting away. Oh, yes! What a rail from Faz! He opened the door with the machine gun and went right through the pair of them to dispatch of Avec. He restores his free frag lead, and that was marvelous. I thought Avic was going to regain control of it Faz. It hits a rail out of nowhere right through the door before it closes. And another rail from Faz. Uh, so this is most likely Faz's map pick here. And Avec will be the one to pick ZTN, as the Eastern Europeans do love uh, ZTN. So Faz has controlled this mega throughout this game so far. Only three minutes, three and a half minutes left to go. There only will be one more mega. Uh, Faz has gotten all four uh, so far. So Faz has done a great job controlling those Megas. Has another rail there. Makes it a, fra a five frag lead with three minutes to go. Uh, so this is Faz's map to win. Avic is going to have to take it away from him. Yeah, most certainly. It's uh, it's not beyond the uh, not, oh, not beyond the pole, particularly with uh, with the size of the map and the fact that there's three minutes. It's, it's open. There's the frag that may just do it for him. But you know, there's uh, there's still a lot to, a lot to be had for. Uh, a lot to be had in this map. Five frags, three minutes. It is uh, there. Shotgun landed onto Faz. As, uh, the plasma will come charting down. And uh, now we have Avec just dodging, just kind of uh, happily uh, looking at the uh, distance between them. It's a nice uh, few little plasma shots landed there onto him as uh, he's constantly running away from them as Faz is just working the angles at the moment. Faz doing a great job with that plasma spam, able to push Avec away from that upper YA, which he took before, and then he was able to get that lower YA now. Uh, so, I mean, Faz can do that and keep playing defensive because he has the lead, he has the five frag lead. Avic's the one that's going to have to push him, so Faz can keep running away, uh, you know, as much as he wants, Avic is going to have to be the one to catch him off guard. And the only way Faz is going to, uh, sorry, oh, Ooh. wow. There we go, 13-7. Subtle as a ton of bricks, that frag. The only way Faz is going to be able to really turn this one around, oh, sorry, Avic's going to be able to turn this one around, is with a rail opening up Faz. And he's done exactly that. His rails dropped Faz down to 24 points of health. He loses five on the fall. Now collects some shards on that top level, but he's waiting on the Mega, and it comes right in time. Rocky landed. Oh, yes! Avec gets himself for the frag. He had to work off down all of that Mega health, and he did so. He's now got... Uh, Faz on the run, he's not so high on health as the pole. Does pick up those 225s though. And is going to fire on down to Faz, who's on this bottom level. The frag is, is it there for the taking? Avec doesn't think so. Five frags, still the difference between these two. So Avec did get that frag there, but Faz still got that Mega. So Avec really needed that Mega to try to make a big push here. Uh, he had Avec, uh, Faz down about 45 health near, near the rail, but he elected not to rush and chase him. And I don't think he'll have enough time now with one minute left in the game and a five frag lead. He has to get a frag about every 10 seconds or so. With Faz being able to delay spawns and being able to run away, uh, it's going to be very hard for Avec to try to catch up now. Yeah, very much so. Uh, remember, if you're watching live online at home, you can actually pause and rewind the stream. Um, so if you see a frag that you like, you can just uh, drag your uh, your cursor back and watch it again and again. So I'm thinking specifically about Faz's uh, rail through the doors. That was just unbelievable. We're at uh, 39 now. Four frags, 30 seconds. If you believe in the Easter Bunny, then maybe you believe in uh, a comeback for Avec here. But I don't at this moment in time. It's not going to happen. And uh, we're going to go on to the second map. It'll be a Vex choice. It'll be ZTN. It'll be uh, exactly what we expect from the Eastern Europeans. You just know what you're going to get. You're going to get a long, pensive game, few frags. But Faz, is, uh, Faz has been around the block. I mean, this guy in Quake years, if you were to convert them, is, uh, is, is certainly one of the grandfathers of, uh, of the scene. He, he knows what he's going to get in this one. The question is, is he able to do anything about that? 
you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I was, I was, I did, I would think that Faz would win uh, on T4. It is his preferred map over a long period of time. Uh, ZTN is much more tactical. It does fit the Eastern, style, Eastern European style of play uh, much better. So I will assume Avic has the advantage there. Um, I mean, it would be interesting to see what's going to happen. I mean, those Europeans love to spam like 300 grenades down on the floor. So <laughs> unless Faz does that, uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to take this. We might, we may very well go to a third map. Now, schedule for the day here uh, on Quavi and LO3 from uh, QuakeCon 2009. We've got this match underway right now. And then after that, we're going to have CTF. Uh, you picked out a great CTF. CTF. Action. What uh, we've got Fanatic versus a Dynamic. Dynamic. So I know that uh, Juice is around here watching this one, waiting to get himself involved for that game. So we'll have our first CTF action of the weekend. Fanatic, which has Sturmy, Sparty, Deuce, uh, Lincoln, and uh, Fox. We'll take on Team Dynamic, which is a pretty solid team uh, from the U.S. who has Fleischer uh, and Waz, among others. They are probably the third or best team in the U.S. We are going live now with Faz and Avec. Here we go. Faz one map to the good, and they'll spawn right in front of one another. All hell breaks loose for just a moment as Avec will quickly retreat, collects the rocket. Faz has stolen away that mega, though. And uh, Avec is going to have to play this one a little bit calmly as he lands the first rocket. Rail versus rocket here, and it's Faz that it must have come off worse there. He's got just 100 health. He's got no armor. And uh, that is after a mega health, of course, as he now collects some shards, two bubbles, and uh, will collect the rocket. Red is up. And uh, he will teleport through to get it, but find that the pole has been there before him and stolen it away. The yellow is up. Rail drops waiting for him as they exchange great rails down the uh, Mega Health corridor, which is the Mega Health, though, has just been taken by Avec, who we follow now. Really uh, opening frag here in this map is one that will change this one. If Faz is to com combat the Eastern European style on ZTN, he needs the opening Ooh. frag, and the rocket that meets Savek over on the red armor platform was good, but the rail that followed was even better. Avec will take that first frag, and he leads by one to nil. Faz is found wanting right off the board. Unless he lands a rail, he's going to be in real trouble as Avec clips his tail. And we're at 2-0. I thought Faz was going to be able to steal control of that RA away from Avic. Avic knocked him off the shotgun platform over to the 225 health. Uh, Faz shot an amazing rocket onto Avic just as he's uh, going to the RA platform, but then missed the rail uh, for the frag. So Avic was able to get that frag and has now turned this into three more conversion frags. I think it's a 4-0 game, only a minute 30 into the game. So Faz is, it does have a lot of work cut out for him uh, right now. Avec still has control of the Mega and RA. When those floodgates get open, there's no way of stopping them here. You can see that that first frag, it took a long time to come, but at that moment when it came, Faz became powerless because Avec just controls the map from this point on. He's, oh, it's beautiful to watch as he glides through, will down Faz again, and Faz is going to wonder what did he do wrong, because uh, he played the opening minute very, very well. And as you said, there was an opportunity for him at one point to take control of the map, and now, ooh, he gets himself the frag, and have I spoken too soon? Though Faz with some clutch rails there, another clutch rail on Avex, so he will have a positional advantage to try to get this Mega. He is going to force Avex to go through that teleporter and to grab that 50, so I've, Faz will be able to get this Mega now. Oh, oh no, but a grenade hits him as he's being LG'd, and Avex is able to steal the Mega spawn directly behind him. So that was Faz's chance to get back in the game, and another crucial opportunity lost. Yes, he had to work so hard to create that opportunity as well. They're few and far between, and having lost that first one, he now finds himself needing to rebuild and uh, take his time about this, and he'll know that better than anyone. The uh, rocket's now coming back his way, as uh, Faz will have a rail sent his way, as now we have Faz on, what, 60 points of health. He'll take that 50 bubble and get himself away from Avec, waiting for that yellow to come. She has just taken, now drops down. Spies Mega gets the rail, all important here now. His comeback will be dependent on that rail because you can just open up any angle on this map. Rocket dropped down towards the teleporter. He's expecting to see a Vec and he does, but a Vec lands a rail as did Faz, but doesn't really uh, make so much difference to uh, a Vec when he was fully stacked on 200-200 there. So 7-1 the score, still delicately poised, still. Waiting on that, uh, on Avex 
sorry, on Faz's move to try and come back. He's he stopped the rot in this scoreboard, most importantly, though. Yes, he did. Uh, you know, Faz is just going to have to try to run around here, uh, gain control of those yellows, get time back on RA. Uh, he doesn't see Avic take that RA, so I'm not sure if Faz is going to have timing on that RA, I, nor does he have timing on Mega. He does find Avic in a fight at the stairs, but uh, Avec is able to hit two nice rockets on the Faz, uh, getting the frag on him, keeping him away from knowing any of the timings on the armors. So Faz is not no timing of Mega or RA, uh, and Avec is probably going to get both right here. 8-1 the score. He delicately poised as Faz will fall down with LG just all over him. He's lined with it. He's on 26 points of health, and now he's gone. And Faz was lucky to live, and well, he may have just chewed up another one of those nine lives. He has an, he does actually have a cat, so. Is he a kitty? Well, he has a cat. I don't know whether. Uh, I'm gonna tell him to call him a kitty. <laughs> Here we go. Nine one, five minutes to go. It's not over yet, but from a Vex perspective, after the disappointment of T4, he's turned it around. He's quickly got his head back into shape, and it can be difficult having lost one map. And uh, particularly as it was relatively one-sided, it can be difficult just to sort of refocus so quickly because the turnaround in maps was, what, 60 seconds. So he's done his job. We'll go down to the uh, decider if Faz can't muster a comeback. And it is much harder to muster a comeback on uh, this type of map as opposed to, like, T4, where you can string together four to five frags in about a minute. Uh, here, you could basically run away for 10 minutes and have a 0-0 game for the full duration of a map. I mean, that's how hard it is, if you're a smart player, uh, to be able to get a frag on this map as long as you're playing defensively. So four minutes left. Faz knows that it's slipping away from him. So he exchanges rails with Avec. Avec did... Uh, collect the uh, Mega as well. And now up on the red platform, the Rockets will uh, be danced around the pole. And there's the rail in midair. Great work from Avec. That is beautiful. And well, he's putting on a masterclass at the moment. But then if you watch Avec, if you watch Cypher, or if you watch their, their idol that is uh, cooler on this type of map, then this is what you're going to get. A completely different match to what you would on any other map. Yeah, and I don't really know what, what's made uh, the Russians and, you know, the, and the Poles and Belarusians, Ukrainians, etc. so good uh, on this map over time. I, I don't know why it, it fits their play style uh, so well, but it always has. I mean, they really always have had the advantage uh, against the Americans or the Swedes uh, going in on this map. While the Americans and Swedes have uh, usually had the advantage over a map like DM6 and T4. Are you just uh, discounting the rest of continental Europe? In Quake, there's America, Sweden, and Eastern oh. Europe, and then and then we just we just don't exist. <laughs> what continental Europe? You mean like England? Uh, they've been doing well. Juice is gonna win the CTF for Fnatic, so he's the fifth man. He's gonna sit down for their win against Fnatic. Why? Uh, I'm just destroyed. I can't come back. <laughs> And he's Scottish as well. That, I mean, it's it's desperate oh, for an man. Englishman to cheer for a Scotsman. That but sucks. It's what we've got. 13 won the score here. Of course, Garpy and Hell uh, very much uh, still alive as well, although I've not seen them today. Actually, Garpy got knocked down by uh, Avic's friend who flew with him to the US. Toxic. toxic. Another toxic. Not Swedish toxic or German toxic. Impressive. So, 13 won. This is uh, a mauling. We're going to go on to the third and final map. What would you like to see? Hmm. I would like to see DM13 because we have not seen that yet. And uh, I think both players are really, really good on that map. I really like that map. Um, so I'm hoping for, for DM13. Now I put Faz down as a slightly weaker player than Avec, although they, they're both, uh, both in good shape. So I'd like to see something that slightly favors Faz just so we get a very even game in that final third. Uh, remembering Faz picking DM6 against Fox uh, at the gathering, so maybe that that would come out in his favor. What are they going to eliminate? That's the bigger. F uh, who's going to? He's going to go for the Clan Arena uh, map to eliminate. Uh, I would Who does have that a favor the least. I would have a feeling Avec would be more willing to throw out the Clan Arena map than Faz. Uh, supposedly Faz and Cipher just not work on that map. 
No, Fat Faz neither. Oh, uh, sorry. Avec and Cypher. Avec and Cypher supposedly not work on that map. I would all. think Faz has been playing Quick Live longer than them, so he would know that map more. I would think Tony7 uh, would probably be about even, and I would think Avec would actually have a little bit of an advantage on DM13. So um, I would assume Avec throwing out CA2 and uh, Faz throwing out T9. But, and it uh, goes down to the random. We're into the last 50 seconds. For all of you out here in the audience, make sure you go and get yourself uh, an Intel badge from the uh, Intel booth because you can win anything ranging from between a hat to a gaming laptop. So uh, certainly worth getting yourself a badge. Slasher has one. What, what I've got for? five. You have five? Thousand. Over wow. 5,000 plus 4,000. Here we go. <laughs> It's all over, 13-5 the score. And we're gonna go to that third and final map and Faz is gonna look at it and say, you know what, I gave a good game. I gave a good representation of myself here uh, on uh, ZTN. It was not perhaps as uh, one side as they're thinking. I think a lot of people will look at Faz and turn around and say, you know what? Although Avec may not be in tip-top form at the moment, Faz is representing himself quite well. Yeah, Faz is performing uh, quite well. I really didn't think that he would be doing as well as he did. I saw him play uh, some of those ESL online matches last week. And Over he, in Germany. In Germany. And uh, he, he, looked, he did look pretty solid. But I just thought, you know, he hasn't been playing as much as all these other guys have, like Sparty and Fox and Noctis. I didn't think he would have what it takes to be able to play with the top people, especially on land, not playing a while besides that gathering event. Uh, but he has shown that he can do that. What do you make of uh, Sparty and Lincoln? Where do you put them? I put Sparty uh, pretty high up on the list. I mean, he, I mean, I always knew he was good way back about a year, year and a half ago when he played at, uh, I think, CPL Singapore. And then there was CPL. But he's not going to win. No. Well, you know what? I didn't think he was going to win Greece. And then he comes out of nowhere and plays Rafa in the final. He defeats uh, Avec and knocks him out, and then uh, Rafa takes out Cypher. So I don't think anybody was expecting that to happen in Greece. Um, so, you know, I think uh, it's a possibility for anything. I think Lincoln is focusing much more on CTF this tournament, and he just decided to play 1v1. Uh, he is really strong, too. I got to see him play 1v1 at the, at the ES ESWC Grand Final in, uh, in San Jose last year, uh, and then he played online in Germany. Uh, for that tor that tournament as well, and he looks pretty solid. But I, w I would uh, I would pick Sparty over Lincoln out of those two. And Lincoln just got destroyed by Fox in uh, upper bracket round two. So. And where do you put Fox? Because you're you're of the opinion that he's the almost ran almost every time, which I disagree with wholeheartedly. I'm the one that I I'm putting him for for gold. Fox is playing Sparty actually next round. So we'll get to see what happens there. You know what? I love Fox. Fox is great. Then why are you, he's why been have you been dissing forever? him? Because I always feel so bad. Because it always seems like he gets to the final or the semifinal, and he'll lose a match in, like, double overtime, which he had the lead on with, like, like a minute to go, like a two-frag lead, and he'll lose the lead, and he'll lose in double OT, and then the next map he'll lose by, like, 35. Because after that, he's so exhausted that he, he just he can't get through it. Uh, and he, he's just not able to compete. And interestingly enough, we will be playing 29 as the third map. I uh, wonder if we could see what each of these players threw out uh, as their map. I'm not sure I support your, your Fox theory, by the way. I dropped CA2. I think dropped CA2, and Faz dropped DM6. Interesting. So this was the random coin toss. Uh, between DM13 to 27 and 29. So you don't think so about Fox? I think there, there were certainly some instances in actually in Quake 4 where that did happen to Fox. Um, but in Quake 3, no. I mean, he, he did win that... Um, I forgot what CPL event it was. Maybe CPL Nordic? And the Winter. He won Winter. He didn't win Winter. The, the Quake 3 comeback one, he won. Uh, the uh, what was it? The world, the, the, the world tour final or something? In CPL the, uh, winner 05? Yeah. No, that was CZM. CZM core. Uh, uh, CZM Jibo final. Jibo shot like 300 grenades. 
Well, he won an event once. Yes. Fox Over has won years. an event, but he's never really done, like, he's never won that major, major title, which I always thought he would and should have by now, while players like Cypher and Avec and Rafa uh, have multiple times by now. I think Fox really, really wants it. I don't know if this is his time. I mean, he did get beat by Noctis kind of convincingly. I mean, the only map Fox won was 6-5 uh, on DM13. The other, the other two maps he lost by a significant margin, so. Here we go. It's the decider. Faz versus Havoc. We are live, and it is a straight out fight for the Mega as Faz has got the LG versus Havoc's choice to get the Mega. Well, it wasn't a choice. He didn't realize that Faz was going to come charging around that corner and land the opening frag. The question is, is he able to uh, follow up on anything more? This is a map that we saw earlier on today in a low scoring match, though uh, it certainly has the potential to be an all out bloodbath uh, if, if, if played to uh, that methodology. So, what are you expecting? Uh, I'm expecting a lot of shaft play. Whoever is going to have the better shaft here, uh, I think is going to win. I mean, we just saw DeHang play with a lot, a lot of smart plasma spam, uh, you know, keeping players away to get the other YAs, uh, spamming through those teleporters and these uh, small corridors where we get a lot of damage very quickly. Avec with two nice rockets, able to control that grenade launcher YA as well as get the frag tied up now and it looks like Evan's shaft is pretty beastly and as we all know it is so Evan may have the advantage purely on aim uh, on this map that mega pit is just a in fact the entire water is just an absolute death trap you go in you make your noise and you are surrounded by avenues to be attacked whether it's from above from the side it is a death trap and uh, you'll find that sometimes it pays not to take it and so it's to take the mega and so now we see 2-1 the score Faz with just 86 points of health did land a rocket onto Avec but it's now being rocketed and LG say goodnight Faz as uh, Avec collects the reward and uh, this is a uh, real little tricky spot Faz has got himself into because he has not really since that first frag been able to mount pressure on he's not been able to force the hand of Avec. No, he really hasn't. Besides that first frag, Avec has had pretty good control uh, of that Mega and knowing where Faz is on the map. He is waiting for him, for him to go through the teleport or try to go through mid to take that middle YA. He is going to pick up that middle YA and then probably head back to this uh, other YA, which he does. Uh, he is stacked up pretty hard. Uh, we'll see if Faz can combat this next Mega here uh, with rockets from above. Uh, Avec electing to challenge from below. We're going to take it pretty free. Faz does come from above, does hit a few rockets on the Avic, but didn't hit the one that he really needed to to bounce Avic up in the air to get a lot of damage. So Fat, so Avec did get away from there with a, with some good stack, and he's going to be able to get Faz here in the corner and take another frag. Nope. Faz with some nice defensive rockets there. So, so 3 1 after uh, about three minutes. Faz, despite being on the back foot, has uh, very much been able to keep this scoreboard down, and he gets himself into real trouble with that LG. Did land a good counter rocket, and his LG is going to be able to finish the job he started. But he'll find himself in low health, Faz, but his LG may well come to his rescue once again. Excellent work. He's only got four points of health. Mega will save him as he gets himself out of the water, collects the yellow, and suddenly we're right back at it with one frag between the pair of them. And it is game on, and oh, an explosive 30 seconds. That was a nice comeback by Faz there with that LG, rushing towards Avic. I thought Avic was going to get that MG kill, especially picking up that YA, with some nice LG in there by Faz. A crucial kill there, able to pick up Mega, so now Faz has regained control of Mega. He has the timing on most of those YAs, and he has the weapons that he needs, so he will be able to compete for this next Mega uh, and see if he can continue to keep control. 4-3. Anyone ball game with six to play. And so now... Avec dances through the teleporter. Yellow will be the fighting ground as uh, they both go after the uh, 25s. And it's Faz that comes out on top, despite Avec sort of nesting upon one of those 25 bubbles. Now it will be uh, followed up with the uh, with the plasma gun and takes the lead. This has been a really, really smart comeback from Faz. He has played it by the book. He did not let uh, Avec bully him in those opening few minutes. And the lead that Avec built up was so small that Fans has been able to turn it around into a 5-4 game. 
and the poll's got some questions to answer to now. Uh, Avec does re take re-control of that Mega, though, and does have a nice armor stack, so he probably will uh, come in and push on to Faz right now. They both go through the teleport at the same time and don't notice each other. We are seeing Plasma now come out uh, as this game continues to go on much more than we saw previously. Avec charging with Plasma on to Faz. Faz can't get him away with those defensive rockets, so Avec will tie it up again. He is going to continue to charge Faz. He'll have position on this next Mega. Uh, Faz up above the raining rockets down. Oh, able to hit two Ooh. nice rockets on Avec and to take him down to 24 health. 21 hour and rushes Avic, but Avic uh, just takes Faz down and the lead. So maybe Faz shouldn't have rushed right there. Well, he thought that Avic was low in health, and the answer is yes, he was. He was down on 21, but he's uh, going to be absolutely gutted that he wasn't able to convert that and uh, find himself one frag down. But yeah, we've seen this lead go to and fro three times now. And I bet they're happening a few more times before this game is out, so don't go anywhere. The Mega is up, and, uh, and I don't think FX saw it, and Faz steals Mega. Really interesting. He, he was rocketing down to it. I think I'm a little confused as to what he can only just have not seen it or thought it was on a different, uh, thought it had already been taken. Rocket's coming back now. He collects one of those yellows. Remember, this is a map with no red, just three yellows. As, uh, he gets himself a 50 to uh, top him up health-wise. 100, 200 for Avec. Faz is on 164 to 71. Both ready for a big fight. And here it comes. LG's out from the pair of them as they dance around. Avic did collect that 25 bubble. Oh, Faz runs himself out of ammo. The Mega's up as well. And that will be the turning point here because Faz now quick, oh, straight off the spawn gets the LG Ooh. out and turns wow. fire, winning the battle there and somehow countering, losing that fight and suddenly puts this map into sort of an equalization where neither player is too in control. The best thing Faz can do right now is collect some of those weapons up and that seems to be exactly his plan. Get the LG, get the rocket, and that will buy him time because Avic won't come near him without either of those two. I think Avic was really taken off guard that Faz came in there and rushed him uh, with LG. He had a, he had Faz in that in that small corridor with rockets. Ooh, and Avic with a nice frag there on the Faz at 15 health left as Faz is jumping down to Mega. Uh, so Avic playing very nicely here, able to take that Mega. Faz is able to get that frag. Uh, and the Mega, uh, he would have had control of those other YAs. Uh, but Avic was able to keep control and a nice armor sack, even as fast as going to shoot those rockets down. Rockets, one of them did uh, land onto Avec. He's waiting on now the uh, yellow to come, which uh, is there. And he'll now get himself out of there. Takes the 50. And oh. Wow. Oh, man. I think Unbelievable. Avec just, just got spawn fragged by Faz. And now Faz has complete control of the map. Has a Vec down oh, to no what health. What a way to change the, the map. tie the game up, and the map has completely changed, and Faz takes the lead with a conversion frag. So out of oh. nowhere, with two minutes to left, Avic with full control of the map has completely changed now. Uh, and as anything goes, the next Mega is going to spawn in 10, a very crucial Mega for both players. That is harsh for... Uh for Avec, but what are you gonna do? Here we go, crucial LG battle, which Faz is all over the place with. He was just, he was aiming anywhere but Avec during that fight. Comes back at him with another LG, looking to wow. finish the job off. And Faz has just said, you know what? Eight that frag health. was just too too easy. I'm, I'm gonna give you another one. And Avec is able to retake control, 10-9. And Faz will look at that moment and say, what? It seemed like Faz tried to do the same exact thing he did to Avic two minutes ago, where Avic didn't yeah. really think he would rush him, but now Avic realized, oh, he's probably going to rush me, and hit that plasma right where he needed to, and plastered him against the wall, uh, and pushed Faz away. So Avic with some nice defensive plasma there, has the lead by one, only a minute left to go, is going to fight for this next Mega. Very important Mega. Faz jumps down just like before, is able to push Avec off of it, so Faz does control the Mega now. But. 60 seconds or 65 seconds left on the clock. Avec can forest gump it and just run away. But he's looking, you can see right now he is playing to the clock. He says, you know what, I don't have to come anywhere near you. And he's, well, he may not be forest gumping it, but he's doing exact same mentality of, uh, oh, oh, Rocket comes back, can fast finish wow. off the drop, oh, darting through the teleporter. Oh man, Avec ditches him four times through the teleporter. 
And look at that clock now. He's just run down another 25 seconds off it. This next frag is the crucial one. If Faz can get it, it's game on. Avec chooses to hide exactly the same place, or albeit on the other side. And oh, here we go. Is he going to catch him? Faz is going to come across. the teleporters. Deeks him five times. They would have run away only 15 seconds. Faz is going to have to rush. Here we go. Faz chases him down. Avec bats him away with that LG oh. and wins the match. Wow. Great game. Really, really great game. 11-9 on the third map. And Avec is going to come out on top. And Faz will look to that moment where he threw away those two frags, having been in the lead, and say, did I really need to go so aggressive at that point? And it was unbelievable that Avic deked him like five straight times going back and forth through the teleporter. Faz hit two direct rockets on Avic. One LG stream could have fragged him, but Avic totally got away from him. That was a brilliant play by Avic. Uh, really, really great match. We're going to have CTF coming up next with you and Marcus. Yes, and it looks like Avec will be playing Sturmy oh, wow. in the next round. That will so be a great game. The, uh, the upper bracket quarterfinals will feature uh, Cypher versus uh, Kilt. No, we just had Cypher beat Kilson, uh, Sturmy and Faz, uh, Fox and Sparty, and Dehang and Rafa. All right, we're going to take ourselves a short break whilst we get ready for CTF, so uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on Quad B and live on 3.